which one of y'all fuck Riley Reid? <laughs> <laughs> oh, all, all three. All, no, no. All three of y'all yo, fuck I, I'm so, yo, At I'm so, yo, at the same so, time. I'm so sorry. I'm boys. so sorry. I'm putting this shit to <laughs> oh. I mean, I, we might have just started. I'm going to be oh. honest. I think we just roll right into this yeah, one. Yeah, all right, fuck it. Hey, ladies go. and gentlemen, welcome back to Impulsive, the number one podcast in the world. That's a fact. Why do I lie to you? Fast. <laughs> <laughs> Hit that subscribe button. Uh, we do an audio-only extended Q&A with the guest after the visual is done. Um, I mean, you're sitting here. What's I, up, bro? I wrote an intro for you. Should, I feel like I should still say it. Normally, we bring the guest in, but I wanted to just kind of get started. Just don't get sentimental and shit. <laughs> Is it too early or just don't do it? <laughs> no, <now? laughs> yeah, that's not good. Right, yo, here's, here's what I have. It's getting dark. You can't tell right now? Our guest is six foot ten. We have an NBA superstar in the house today. He's got two NBA championship rings. But four years ago, he suffered 12 strokes and six heart attacks while in a coma. Doctors had all but pronounced him dead. And after spending time with the Heat, the Clippers, and of course, the Lakers, he's now getting back into professional basketball for the first time in five years. Ladies and gentlemen, it's NBA legend Lamar Odom. Wow. Yes. Yeah, I like that guy. I like that wow. guy right there. See, I need that guy in my life, bro. I love that guy. Always keep that dude, bro. Good Always. Yeah, you brought, you brought good some good people. Yeah. yeah. You got a crew. It's important um, to have good people around you. Big facts. You think it's the most important thing? Um, One of the most important. Yeah. Have like, you had to go through a learning curve where you did have well, the wrong people around you? Yeah, but life's a learning curve, man. Life is a big fucking learning right? curve. It Does it ever end? Will you ever will you ever be at a point where you're like I I think I've learned a good amount I'm I'm good Nah because if you stop um like my grandma used to say she told me if you stop um learning you stop living Stop Straight learning up. Yeah, I like that yeah. Yeah. If you stop learning you stop living I feel like I feel like I I have so much to learn bro but did you ever have a period in your life where there were just a bunch of yes men around you. I feel like I'm 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 at that right now. Like all the people around yeah, me, like especially on this on money. this podcast. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, he's, he's the biggest <laughs> liar ever. <laughs> well, you know, Frank. Yo, I'm, right? I'm joking. Quick, I'm joking. Quick preface. <laughs> I'm out we, for a while. I was the only person, and sometimes still, I'm the only person that'll be like, "Yo, you you fucking suck right now, bro. Yeah. You need to get your shit together." I mean, You're that's doing important. All the, yeah, because balance is important. Yeah, in life, man. Yeah. Did you did you have that problem? Oh, the more money. That I made, you're always gonna have people that just, you know, want to tell you yes. Mm. You know and, I mean? and how do you handle that? I mean, that's our new husky. I think I that's, think, that's Broly Blue. I think as um, can you stop putting your finger in his butt? As as <laughs> as, as, as as life goes on, you know how to um, you know, weave the people out your life that you need to be weaved out. Mm. Mm. The the more experience that you go through, I got you. Yeah. So, yo, I want to start with the good. Um, you you are getting back into the game of basketball. Yeah, man. This, this is big. Yeah. With Ice Cube's Ice Cube's big three, yeah? Yeah. What's that about? Um, it's three on three basketball. That's tight. Yeah, and it's competitive. And um, it gives players um who wouldn't have a, a, a stage to play on, um, a stage to play on. And well, this this year is gonna be big, it's gonna be on CBS. Oh, it's tight. Yeah, it's tight. Who who else is playing in it? Um, there's a lot of good players playing in it. Um Jason Terry. Um, players that you may know. Um, who else is playing? We just drafted a player that's he's a dog. His name is Royce White. He's real good. When you say when you say it gives him uh, a place to to, to play, to play yeah, on. stage to play on. Like, yeah, I I believe you had a stage to play on. You have a stage to play on, or is that not is that not the case? No, I do. I, I could play pro basketball. You know. So how do you choose overseas? Are you, I could. I, yeah. So how do you choose where to go? What do you mean? How do you choose uh, not to play professional basketball overseas or or? Uh, well, probably you know whoever's league? probably paying the most. Oh, is that is yeah, that because overseas basketball they're like known to like jerk you over there. Oh, for real? oh really? Yeah, so they paid less. No, they pay they pay they pay just as good. They just mm. as good, but I want to know that my money is going oh, to oh, oh. going to be there. Mm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Playing for Ice Cube is um, <clears throat> it's big. He's the only black sports owner. Think uh, in the world. I'm gonna be honest. I, I I didn't even have any idea that he was doing that, man. That's like I love I love when I see artists innovating beyond yeah. just their industry and their yeah. vertical. That's cool, man. I um, mean, yeah, his old movement is crazy. The, what does it benefit? What's the point of it? What do you mean? Like, what's the point of the of this three on three? Is it does it benefit something or is it just strictly just a nah, just uh, to win? And ball oh, out, oh, man. that's it. Yeah, that's it. For pride. Right. So, all right. You know what well, I'm saying? Shit, pride's a big thing. Yeah, and you know if you know your money's gonna be on time, why not? Yeah, yep. that's true. Um, speaking of people going outside of their vertical, you're an athlete, mm -hmm. but you're also a businessman. Is that yes. true? Is that a fact now? Trying to be. You walked in with, what, what do you have? What is oh, this? Oh, it's my CBD line. 
CBD, yo. Yeah. The magic, the, the magic cream. The magic yeah. everything. The big, mm-hmm. the big thing right now. Can yeah. I move this right here? Yeah, sorry. The big, it's the whole, it's the whole thing right now. Weed without the, the psychoactive properties and all the medical benefits. Yeah. 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 yeah I'm into it. You've been, you've been using it? Yeah. I love it. What do you use it for? Because when we I got was... it, Lamar, we got to get you to talking to that mic, man. Oh, People sorry, need to hear bro. your story, G. Sorry, bro. You <laughs> hear me now? Or just do whatever the fuck you want. Facts. Or order. Facts. Hold what on. the hell? I'm just. You can hear me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I heard it the first time. I, yeah, I nah, wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> nah, uh. My fault. I'm talking to the mic. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> CBD, uh, I, I used it for my boxing fight yeah. um, often. And it, was, it was the one thing, and it, it was brand new. It was the one thing that made me. Uh, Made my muscles feel better constantly. Yeah. So, I mean, I know it works. This is like the top three percent CBD in the world. Mm-hmm. In this, this is like um, y'all seen American Gangster, right? Yeah. This is like Blue Magic. Blue Magic, yeah. And this is your brand. Yeah, this is my. Yeah, it must brand be right nice, here. bro. Hopefully, seven. hopefully yeah. it doesn't do what Blue Magic did. <laughs> 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 it ain't gonna kill. Is this, a, this is gonna heal you though. Is it this works like the opposite of to, Blue Magic? Is it like eighteen to one, or is it, what's the what's the THC count on it? I'm not even sure, bro. Uh, it says it has less than 0.3 percent. Less than point. So I can take a few drops right now. I'm gonna be chilling or what? Yeah, you should. You do it. If we take a couple drops, yeah, hit me up. I'm gonna take one too. All right. This doesn't get you sweat. high. I'm. I need to see the not, ratio I've on never it. Because if it's like, if it's no. like two to one or four to one, then I get. I feel a little like. Oh, it is. It's okay. We got P chiming in here, the expert on this shit. How do you know P? By the way. Yeah. How, how did how did this ha- how did Cheryl. this happen? Mike knows uh, P knows Cheryl. Your dog Deluca actually. Right? Doug Deluca. Who doesn't Doug Deluca know? Doug's the man. That dude's a freaking G. Hi. Hey, y'all are awesome. And I was just <laughs> Can we show them? <laughs> the first thing I said to her, I was like, yo, I like your energy. She like dapped me up, gave me a big hug. Yeah. You squeezed me harder than my mother. <laughs> I appreciate that. I wish you were my mom. Sorry, mom. <laughs> man, I've been dogging on my mom lately. I love you, Pam. Yeah, man. Nah, it's, I don't know. We're working on it. Do you talk, did we talk about what you said you wouldn't do for her? Can we talk about that yet? It, can, we, can we quiet the husky? I just, I wait till you hear this one. Wait, who, wait is that your mom? There? No. Nah. All right, let me ask you a question. I haven't, I haven't said this. But this is not public yet. I, yeah. and, and this might be something, another like Logan Paul controversy. And I, Andre's smiling at me. I don't even know if I should say it here. I'll say it. <laughs> think about, think before you talk. I, I, I've been trying to do that more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, it's not live. We, we can cut it. We can cut it. But I'm, I don't think I'm going to. Right. Uh, I was on Amanda Cerny and Summer Ray's podcast, and they asked me, they're like, would you take a bullet for your mother? And and it's not like a bullet like to the shoulder where it kind of hurts. Kill shot. Like you die, cool. it's a kill shot. And, Look and out! I, I said I said no. I said no. But you didn't really mean it because I know you would die for your mother. If they said another way, if they said if the doctor said your mother, I mean, if God told you your mother has cancer, I mean, but I could take it out of her and give it to you. You wouldn't do that. Yeah, this, here, is, this, is deb- this, this is the is debate. debate. This is the debate. Here, he was, said, he, here was the conclusion that I reached. Two things. One, I'm not going to lie, Lamar, I'm, I'm very selfish at this point in my life. I, and that's, I, that's, that's I, important. I, I love life. Yeah. I, I want to live a very full life. And I believe I have so much more to contribute that I have not done yet. And two, if I did that, if I took that cancer and died instead of my mom, how would she feel? Without so, her son. So I, yeah, so I was, yeah, so here's the debate. That's good, dude. That's good. That's so good. I that's watched good him say all this shit, and yeah. you know, normally people are like, hell yeah, I'd take a bullet from my mom. Like, that's yeah. the initial reaction. Always. I, I said and that. Yeah, that's for sure. Then your mother's going to have to prepare your funeral. No, no right? it, you don't want that. The my, worst. My mom, yeah. bro, would immediately, my mom wouldn't make it 30 minutes past it. Like, she would, she would, like, she would not want that. She would not want me to be, like, no parent wants their child to die, to ever. And no child wants their parent to die either, but yo, but ha- be in a... Yeah, that's like the opposite of life cycle, right? Exactly. Child, right? And, and I, I, I exactly. FaceTimed her after. Children's supposed, to, children's supposed to bury you. Exactly. Right, yeah. There was a, there was a scene in Interstellar. You, you see that movie? No. Interstellar. It's a bomb movie, One of the bro. best movies. And at the end, spoiler alert. Nah, I'm going to say it. Uh, <laughs> Matthew McConaughey watches his daughter die of old age. 
because because of the weird like yeah, time, the time shift space, space. And it's space like, yeah. I don't know. Black it's hole. not relatable at all. Anyways, yo, the Matthew CB McConaughey watches his daughter because she gets older because he's in space and so oh, time's okay. moving slower and so yeah. on Earth she gets old she, and he sees it on video she passes away whatever that has nothing to do with anything. I, I no, yes, no, it's it, my no, fault. Yes, it does. Well, don't don't discount yourself, bro. You just <laughs> you just said what sounds we were like just, a good movie. Is it a good movie? It's, it's so it's, it's phenomenal. It's my favorite. One of the best movies. The best one movies ever. Yeah, watch it tonight. Yeah, yeah. Christopher Nolan. He's he he did the Avatar, um, all the Batman's, uh, like the Batman Begin the trilogy. The director, yeah, yeah. and uh, what's Inception. Your, what's oh, your yeah. favorite uh, movie? Oh, there's you, so you, many to pick from. You watching film? Is that like what type of content are you consuming? I love film. I love watching movies. R.I.P. John Singleton. Did go, yeah, did you go see um, Avenger? I did. Yeah. Did you? No, I haven't seen it. You haven't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> Who died in that? Her someone died. Oh shit. <laughs> Hell Can no. Can we say? No. 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 Hell no. Yeah, nah, yeah. Fuck it up for everybody. <laughs> nah, 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 I, I, know, I know who died. Nah, that's the first thing nah, I asked I, I, is who I, died. I went through it. Iron Man died. Um, but Whoa. <laughs> Tony Stark? Go fuck ghost yourself. No. Nah, Are you crazy? What? They killed the ghost face shit, killer? Bro. I didn't say anything. They killed the ghost face killer? They <laughs> killed the ghost face killer. <laughs> nah, <bro>. Tony <laughs> Stark. Wow. People will boycott this show. But how they do that? Yeah, we're going to have to cut that. It's uh, nah, I bet you he like. No, nah, it's the movie probably he, saved the world by giving itself up. Did you write the movie? Like, <laughs> <laughs> what, what's good, bro? No, you write movies nah. too? Damn. Hey, James Brown movie was one of the one of my favorite movies. I haven't seen yet that? to see that. I, didn't see that. I need to see that. It's great. Yeah. I like movies that got, have music in it too. Have you seen um? Oh, please don't, don't say Don't it. say the pianist. Please don't no, say it. No, um, not that. Bohemian Rhapsody? Of course. That's what I didn't want you to say, because now you're going to get them all going crazy. You, you haven't seen it? Nah, but I but one, I know you have, because every day movies. you wake up and you sing what? Mama, just mm. killed the man. <laughs> Put a gun against his head. I didn't know how, I didn't really realize how great they were. Oh, that. incredible. Huge. Incredible. And Freddie, like. All their tracks are like. Big in hip hop too, yeah. Oh yeah, for sure, dude. Yeah, they transcended a genre for you. Yeah, yeah for real. Um, when when your music can can live for decades, like I I often wonder that when I'm listening to um music nowadays, like hip hop and stuff, and the rappers who are popping now, like yeah. in 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 two years, is it gonna be good still? In a decade, is it gonna be good? Like I don't I mean, know. A lot of it is probably not meant to because it's just to make money. And get people, quicks, the quick that's true. That's true. <laughs> Yo, a, a lot of artists are saying that. Um, even even like uh, Cardi Cardi, I know came under fire for for saying something like that. That she she's here to make her money in the rap game. And, and oh, I remember that. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was a couple people it was, thought it was disrespectful. I thought, to it was, I, thought, I, thought I thought Kodak too. Um, I mean, Kodak I, is. I can't be mad at that. I mean, she was a stripper. If I'm yeah. not mistaken. No, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's an upgrade. She's, yeah, mm -hmm. she just found a better way to make money. That's yeah. it. You rolling with any of these people in their circles, rappers, artists? What do you mean running their circles? You go out with any of them? Eat dinner, break nah, bread? Nah, not really. Nah. Where, where are you based again? LA. Are yeah. oh, you based here? Yeah. I Stay you... low profile now. Yeah, a little bit. It's what's, hard to though. What's a day look like? I mean, you're six ten, bro. So I like, work out every day. Really? Yeah, make a couple of phone calls about this. And you ever gonna not work chill. out? Because how old are you now? Thirty nine, right? Yeah, probably not. Really? That's what I've been through. And I like to look good. I feel I feel good. If you feel good, you look good, and it goes together. That's a fact. Yeah. Mike, uh, Mike works out every day, sort of. I wait on the elliptical, and I and I know. It's, <laughs> well, the reason I asked on the elliptical, well, because I know it's yeah, going to end soon for him. Like, yeah. how, oh, that's it. Listen, no, it's not fucking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you. Let me tell you a quick story. You do yoga quickly. Uh, no, fuck. N not fucking yoga. Yoga's elliptical. great. These two are vegans, so they both do yoga. I'm not saying that, but what I'm saying is this. I was one at one point. I was three hundred pounds. I got a real. Oh, I, yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. I, I went. Thanks, bro. bro. Thanks. Damn. So no um, hamburgers for you. Not. No, I still eat, but but the cardio. I try to get my cardio, but I got two plates and mad screws in my ankle. So that that like um, the pounding, pounding mm -hmm. on the uh, tre treadmill or mm -hmm. even running around the streets fucks with my ankle. Yeah. So I got to do the elliptical, but I, I'll be out there like. Yeah. You need like a good masseuse. Ham, you need a, probably like I a real one. good masseuse for that oh, ankle. Yeah. Don't yeah. take this the wrong way. Do you know how to uh, like seriously? Don't take this the wrong way. Do you know how to climb stairs like a staircase? Uh, I've I've struggled with it. Like, would you ever do the stairmaster? Ever since the inception of elevators, man, I just it's or escalators even, dude. Like stairs have always seemed obsolete to me. I'm you. so sorry, dude. Okay, okay. I don't know how else to put it. No, mm -hmm. that's no problem. Like it's like it's like, do you know how to 
walk. Yeah, I know how to walk, but I also know how to drive a car. Like, why the fuck am I going to walk? Also, we got to get you lifted some weights or something. Though, no, bro. I do that. So, so that's what else I do. Well, where I are bench. the results? Where are the results? So here's the deal. <laughs> I don't, I don't, because I was fat. Yeah. I don't bench for mass building. You don't I have bench to. for, I bench. So I'll do, I'll do 25 reps at, at 180. Yeah. As a, on bench. Yeah. No, you won't. Let's dude. do it. <laughs> Let's go. Let's you go right now. Do it, you have a, you and have furthermore, a, and furthermore, <laughs> this dude just got back in the gym a week ago. He took literally six months off. He looks like fat Thor. All he does is suck. <laughs> I love it. Sucks. Well, fuck you. I love how you talk yourself up in the beginning about how great you are for his circle. And then that No, no, I'm saying I'm great for his circle because I keep him in his place. I just know I work hard as shit. Oh, it, it miss- here we fucking go. Hey, well, leave go, me listen. alone. Let me work out how I want to work out. All right. Hey, that's true. Let me get my work. Let that's me true. live let my let, damn life. Let the man hit the elliptical. Yeah, I like the elliptical. Hold it's up. low Hold impact. But it feels but, good. But as his friend. I'm going to sit here and check him when he says he does 180 25 times. I'll do it that's, right where now. I, that's where I got a little. I was, what, is, what is that? Okay. Four, 45 45 on each side. And then 45 on each. That's no, nothing. No, no, no. No, that's 125. Oh, that's, that's 135. 135. 135. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. 35, 25 times is a lot, though. No, that's easy. We could do that. We could do that. Uh, yeah, I could do that. All right, anyways, changing topics. What else you got? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, we could do 180. Changing topics. <laughs> so, yo, you've been through some shit. Yeah, life is crazy, bro. When'd you realize that? At 12. 12 years old? No. Did something happen? My mother died. And? That was when you're like, yo, this is going to be a ride? Yeah, like you never know, man. How'd you handle that at 12 years old? I I was fucked up. But at at 12, you know, you, I don't know how, how you think you would take it at 12 if your mother died? It's to, I don't know if I would I, like truly be probably able to would think shit is over. Right? Comprehend it. I don't know. I don't know. But you know what saved me was um the, that basketball. Really? Yeah, that was like my escape from everything. Do well, you th- would you attribute that to your success in the NBA and and your career? Um, that really kind of helped propel that, or give you motivation or desperation or. I think it was mix a mixture. Um, I like knew. Like at six years old, seven years old, ten years, at least ten years old, that I was gonna play in the NBA. You knew it. Yeah, I could see it. What was it that What was it that told you that? Were you already super tall? Were you getting super tall? Like I, when I was ten, I was five ten, but I always had natural skill, natural ability. You were five yeah. ten at ten years old. <sighs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, the reason I, the reason yeah. I, I snicker is because literally, bro, like the pa- three out of the five guests mm-hmm. are all extremely successful people. And we asked them like, yo, how did you get to where you are? And all of them are like, I just saw it and knew I could do it. There's like a manifestation. Thing. Yeah. Some, yeah, just something that just comes and you stick with it. And because you know that, that you're going to grow up, you just give yourself guidelines, things that you're going to do and not going to do. So how'd you avoid, I mean... How'd you avoid distractions going through high school being a basketball star? Going I mean, through college being a basketball star? I mean, I had I had distractions, but the distractions were like um in a positive way. Really? Like Yeah, like um, you know, being recruited. Mm. A lot of people that can distract them. Talk, I'm talking about like the girls and the parties. Oh, the, the girls, yeah. Shit. I mean, that's the best part. Like, those, I, are, those are I was just gonna <laughs> say, those are the good distractions, but I didn't want to be, you know what I'm saying? No, I, bro, I didn't want to be I didn't want to be obvious. But those are the good distractions. Where'd you Where'd you play college ball? University of Rhode Island. Oh, you are I East yeah. Coast shit. Yeah, I had to sit out one year because they say I cheated on my SAT. Did you? <laughs> it's a big. Oh, that's how, a hot yeah, topic. How, it's how a could, hot topic. How could you right cheat now? on the SAT? Well, it's a it's a hot topic right yeah, now. Yeah, it just happened uh, with the uh, what's what's the actress? Lori Lori, Lori, Lori Laughlin. She she paid, paid off people, yeah. half a million dollars so her daughter could uh, get into some Ivy League school. I wouldn't pay a motherfucking for for <laughs> uh, for a black athlete for an SAT test a half a million dollars. <laughs> you didn't have that no. money at seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't get it yet. But um, no, nah, I did cheat on my. <laughs> <laughs> You're yes, like, come and get me. What, what you gonna do about it now? G? <laughs> Yeah, Yo, respect. <laughs> Standardized tests yeah. suck, dude. I mean, it's such an ass way to grade people based off of like what school they should go to, what talents they have. Uh, wait, I, I wait. So you just asked me. You go, how could someone how could do, I do it? So how did you do it? Yeah, so I, yeah. yeah, somebody took the test for me, but these oh. fucking jerks score too high. 
Oh, what they, what'd you get? Like a 50, I mean, 80 yeah, or some shit? <laughs> no, according to my, um, you know, my grades. I, it's, he took the S, the ACT. That's yeah, what I took. Act, That's yeah. What I yeah, so according to my grades, um, and then what he got, they were like, it's like red flag. Wait, but so 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 because of that. Can't be a. High school man? Six, have a 69 average and get a 21 on the SAT. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but they, they went back and looked at your high school SAT and then. His ACT. Yeah, they, I mean, and they're good too. They got like forensic shit. They check oh, the hand. They right got in. fingerprints and, and FBI, shit. The NCA is like the FBI. You see, they keep, keep, keep catching motherfuckers with the yeah. wiretaps. They just caught the kid, the guy Sean Miller, with on on the phone. Oh. How you catch me on, on my phone? Yo, there's some there's some shady shit going <laughs> yeah, on. That's technology, crazy. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Yo, in five years, everything's gonna be compromised. If it's not already. Well, it's ends- compromised, bro. Yeah, probably, but I like I'm, I like to be optimistic. I'm a delusional optimist. So no, this world is ruled, bro. No, please don't say that. Come on, there's hope, huh? No? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You know what I mean? I mean, it is. Like, you can't be blind to what's happening. Just save your money, yo. Hell yeah. Well, yo, but... Because in 2024... I'm going to the Olympics, baby. It's going to be a year's worth of winter. Wait, what? Hold what on What does that second. mean? Keep, keep going with this. What do you got going on here? Yeah, let's dive in. If a 365-day winter is coming, change? I can check buy, buy jackets and shit. Cl- 365 days of winter? Yeah. John Snow winter is coming type winter? That's crazy. Imagine what that's going to do to like the world, like the economy. Who, who'd you get like this information from? Really close. Pat Ry- was it Pat Riley? Was it Pat Riley? <laughs> nah. <laughs> the leader of the blacks? <laughs> Ooh, that's, that's not that. That's five years from now, math. Wait. <laughs> math. <laughs> was it the Cl- Farmer's Almanac? Climate change is going to be that drastic? I mean, that seems a bit... Well, that they they were saying soon. we who did we have on the show that was saying <clears throat> climate change <clears throat> is like oh no 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 it's Lil Dicky his uh, new music video like when you go to the website that he's promoting it says scientists are now saying that we have twelve years hey so how do we say twelve years till what by the way oh they did twelve like, years till there's the like planet. serious shit that's like <laughs> how do you save the planet get everybody on the CBD I right, agree guys, I you agree go. you can head take, over to logopaul.com slash CB- shop <laughs> get our CBD that we don't have yet so. supposedly. <laughs> Taking that CBD, every person produces methane that is at a low that is at a lower temperature, and so all those farts will mix together in the atmosphere and keep, and keep the temperature down. These guys are right. <laughs> Shit, I can't wait till Mike makes his leaving Team Maverick video. <laughs> it was horrible. Logan Paul was a jerk. He used to piss in my Cheerios. Yo, but, but they all know that already. Like I, Facts. like I piss in his Cheerios. <laughs> Did he eat it? No, he he didn't do that, but I'll tell you what he did do. (laughs) Lamar, I was sleeping the other day, I had a migraine headache. I locked my door because he always comes and knocks on it. He's like, yo, we got to get up. We got to shoot. We got to do this. We got to do that. He came through my door with a fucking battering ram, G. Bashed the whole shit down, dude. Lock popped off. He came in with a camera with lights and shit. I was sleeping in bed, dude. That's fucked up, dude. Sometimes- Favorite strip club? Me? Yeah. I don't- I'm going to be honest, bro. I'm kind of a pussy, bro. Like, when I go to strip clubs, I'm just like- Man, I wish I could help these girls. Damn. <laughs> You'd be a good dad, then, bro. You got kids? Bad, bro. No, I want a kid. I really want a kid. Wait, I mean, did you say yeah. favorite strip club? Yeah, I was actually. Tootsies, bro. Hey, Miami. can I say can I say Tootsies, Miami's girl. Can, can I say dude? Cheetahs in Atlanta? Cheetah? Cheetah? Cheetahs. Cheetahs. Have you, you like Atlanta? You've been to Atlanta? I'm M- I'm a MIA guy, bro. I go 305. Miami. Mm-hmm. I love I love I could, Tootsies. Cause I lo- Atlanta I, strip clubs are I like the food. Fucking off the hook, huh? The food, bro. Cheetahs? The food. Incredible. And the strippers were nice. They sat in my lab. We talked about business. <laughs> I'm serious. What business are you talking about? She told me she wants CBD. to start, start an art collection. An uh, art, art collection? Yeah. A stripper and an art collection. Yeah, the, dude, you got to pick their brain, man. She fucking There's more than meets the eye. There's more than meets the eye, bro. Drawings of God. <laughs> Yo, you know who just said Atlanta strip clubs were the truth, dude? The dude, um... Yeah, Charlie. Charlie. Charlie Rocket, the world's most inspirational man, frequents Atlanta strip clubs. Who the fuck would have known, dude? Tell me, bro. Yeah, I don't I don't know, bro. When I when I turned like 21, I I found out that girls also love going to strip clubs. Yeah, they do. Girls love going to strip clubs. In Atlanta, in Atlanta, the strip club is like the club. Yeah. It's like the place to go. Yeah. And Atlanta's kind of like you need an outlet. Yeah, I need a little outlet. Kind of like yeah, Eleven, dude, in Miami too. Eleven, Eleven's like the club, but it's also a strip club. You ever been there before? No, I've never been there. And in and, 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 and Atlanta, they have like day parties too. I'm trying to see what that's about. Thinking about moving to Atlanta. Really? Yeah. Dope city. Really dope city. Four hundred thousand, you get like a mansion. Yeah. For real? Yeah. For real, for real. Like big mansion. Bro, that's the place to be. What are we doing here? Dallas is the same way. In this Encino shithole. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's just close. What's the everything. best strip clubs in California? They don't even take their tops off. They don't show pussy either, right? I don't. I want to see that pussy twerk in the strip. I mean, if I go to if if I fully, go to strip club, even though I have a daughter and. You know, I'm a good man. Well, you man. appreciate the human body. It's like an anatomy class for you. You're like, yeah. wow, look at that. Perfectly set up. Three hundred. Would you say degrees. it's like an anatomy class for you, or <laughs> are you there for other reasons, mainly just to not be in an anatomy class? No, nah, anatomy class. Yes, yeah, so yeah. that's <laughs> good, bro. Nah, you, hey, you, I don't know. Yeah. I don't. Car Cardi hey. Cardi B just took to Instagram the other day with a little anatomy class. What she do? You guys, <laughs> that was hilarious. Did you see this? Let me see if I can pull this up. Ah, it's not, she deleted it. Oh, it's she, gone. Yeah, it's gone, dude. <laughs> I, I looked this I could, morning because I was like, I wish what I could did I just watch Cardi B? Cardi B is like one of my favorites. Really? Oh, yeah. she's 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 inspirational. Yeah. yeah, she's a real she's a real premium uh, yeah. fucking artist. <laughs> Cardi Cardi oh, yeah. B stripping twerking <laughs> Instagram video. She was you like a, it? she it was like um it was like an anatomy class for dummies is, is what I could liken it to. You know what I'm saying? Like she was telling well, me like where the vagina is and like what her ass is. I we just had Amanda Cerny do that. The reason day. why she did it, I think she had like a wardrobe malfunction. And so she was getting a bunch of backlash. And so she just put this video out. Seems seems like the logical next step. You have what happened in a wardrobe video? I don't know. I think a some people- came out, she I showed in it. Yeah. No, no, I people first, are, her first ass is so big. Her ass is so big. People are saying that she's got like like her vagina is like falling. The lips are falling out of the side, but it's really just like her ass from the like. I w I wish I didn't have to be this graphic. Yeah, but she I, got ass from the front. Yes, yeah. you know what I'm saying. So that's she, like one of the most attractive things in a woman. Yeah, you know, like, it's yeah. hot right now. When you can see the ass big from the front right now. Just by the way. Yeah, say. it's yeah. hey, it's it, and she she's just like she's proud of it. That's what was. Ha I, can't, <laughs> yeah. I can't. I can't find this. Video. You could just like stand there. Yo, yeah, man. I, I was just thinking, I feel like we should talk about some of the other shit, man. I feel like we should talk to Lamar about Ibogaine and about addiction and shit like that. Ibogaine is yeah. big, yeah. I heard you cured, cured yourself. Yeah, hell yeah. That and ketamine. I, can you I, give us some context? Really? Yeah, Ibogaine, yeah. bro, for those of us who don't know. I, me. You and explain me. it. What'd you use Ibogaine Ibo, for? Ibogaine. A boga. A boga. Ibogaine or a boga? I think it's the same thing. Uh, Pete, what's it called? Oh. Ibogaine? A boga? A boga? Ebola? A boga. Talk about your, your journey a little bit. What what happened? What happened after NBA? What did you start doing? And what have you like what's been going on with you? Well, and during my NBA stand of cocaine was like one of my drugs of choice. Yeah. And um uh came um, habitual for me. How often? <sighs> Way too much. Really? Yeah. How, how like, much? Like multiple times a day? <laughs> yeah, 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 man. Really? While you were playing? Okay. Not while I was no, playing, no, but no. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, summertime and shit like that. Mm. Yeah. During the day? Mm -hmm. All day? Yeah, at night. I mean, you know, the first time I tried cocaine, like the feeling, the first um, line was like an orgasmic feeling that I got. And I think I was like chasing that feeling. Where were you? In Miami. Who, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. Who, who, what were you doing? You're at like a club. Just now, I was just chilling, with my chilling, with my boys, my friends, and shit. Yeah. And that's is that easy to get out of your system for like when the league comes around a drug I mean, test? Well, I think cocaine uh, was in your system for I think like two three, or days. three days. It's yeah. got the oh, fastest. Okay. It's got the fastest uh, absorption on any drug. So that's why a lot of mm -hmm. people do it because it, it's in and out of your system. Weed stays for thirty days. Well, how? I hope you just know that because you do your homework. I know that because I'm an extra. I'm a drug addict. Oh bro. yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, what was your yeah, drug yeah. choice? Yo, he's mine was oxycontin heroin. Oxycontin. Yeah, but I did a lot of coke. Yeah. Even had a little run with crack for a while. Yeah, yeah. I've been through it. Yeah. Ten years. Yeah. Been clean for almost almost nine years now. Did you go to rehab and all that? Yeah. For fifty days. Yeah. Yep. But uh, it was crazy in rehab, right? Is that like. It don't matter what your drug of choice is, right? We all got the same story, right? Some, Somehow, some way, right? Yeah, yeah. Connection. You, 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 you relate to a lot of other people in there. Hell yeah. yeah. But what it? So, so what was your? How did you get off? How did you get out? Or what was what was some of the stuff that happened on that journey? Thank God, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, you know, that, you know fucking around. Um, what was crazy is that I think the coma. You know what yeah, I mean? But yeah. the craziest thing about the coma is that I didn't do drugs that day. But it was the drugs that did it, though, to you? What do you mean? Like, the drugs contributed to it? You just didn't do drugs that day? Yeah. So I don't know, like, I don't know if it was the amount of drugs I did. I was just, like, in a, in a really depressed state, too. How long were you in the in the coma for? Three days. 
<clears throat> and you said he suffered 12 strokes and six heart attacks. Yeah. How do you survive that? I don't know. That's crazy. I don't know. Maybe they should do a movie on me. Maybe they should. <laughs> You gotta win this three. It's being yeah, it's nah. filmed right now. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> this is scene number one. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, use this clip. I don't know. Maybe what was the name of the movie? Be uh, just Lamar. Lamar, yeah. Lamar, shorter o the better. Lamar, oh damn! <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck did he know. do that? Uh, that's crazy. When you were in the coma, do you have any recollection of anything? Excuse my ignorance. I don't know much about comas. Yeah. <laughs> Nah, um, I was talking to a dude named Jesus. Oh, Are yeah. you serious? JC. Nah, I'm fucking shit. Nah, I'm fucking shit. Mike was like, Mike was like, for shit, man. I was like, wow. And I was looking at him, I was like, don't know if you're serious. Because I was like, he's talking about Jesus? It's a Mexican dude's like, hey, I'm Jesus. I got tacos in the coma. Hey, bro, we're waiting too. But I mean, actually, really, I can't even really remember. I can't even. Really? All I know, when I woke up, they told me I was like pulling the tube and shit out of my mouth. Out of my throat. You have oh, it's like one of those things where the competitor came out. Yeah, you came up, you were like, <laughs> like Wolverine when he first gets his claws. <laughs> oh, no. The competitor came out. But but, but why? Because there were tubes in your throat. <laughs> well, if, yeah, if somebody if you woke up with tube in your throat, the first your first reaction would probably be pull it out too. Uh, yeah, that's true. I wouldn't want a tube in my throat. Nah. All right, but what where were you at at that point in your life that all this stuff led to the culmination of what well, would be a pivot point for you? Well, probably um, my divorce from my wife, I would think. Probably I was like my downfall, like my lowest point mm. in life. Did you feel like you hit rock bottom? Yeah. When you're, when you're at that stage and you look around and you realize that all this stuff is happening and it's not going your way, how can you keep your chin up? And look forward to a brighter future. How did well, I mean, you do that's it? that's just my own. That's just on the only. Um, my glass is always half full. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Just the way I've been taught taught to think. You think that's inherent at all, or is that how you grew up? Um, yeah, my grandmother taught me that. You know what I'm saying? Always um, smile at the end of the day. Mm. <laughs> Your divorce. You were in that Kardashian circle for for a minute. Yeah. What was that like? Was that a vortex of? That was incredible, bro. That was the best time of my adult life. Really? Yeah, to be honest with you. What made it so great? <laughs> Shit, that lifestyle, man. Really? I'm, yeah, I was a Laker, bro, already. I was already Lamar Odom. So if you add that to the mix. But did that contribute to like any the of the- the red carpet. Maybe, maybe it was- um, Bad and good, like a gift from the curse? No, nah, nothing was bad about that experience. It didn't drive you to do anything that maybe you Maybe subconsciously. Not... Yeah. You know what I mean? You're not even thinking about the pressure, but- well, you know, with, with basketball and, and being a Laker, winning championships, I thrive off of pressure. You married mm -hmm. you married Chloe like a month after you met, yeah? Yeah. Do you think that was hastily at all? Like, hastily? Yeah, like you regret that? You think it was too fast? Nah. That was the way it was supposed to be. Really? Yeah. You have any regrets about that that time period? Oh, nah. Uh -uh. I like that. It was the best time of my life. I, I, I played the best time, um, my best basketball. Check this out. I was shooting a reality show and I won the six man of the year award. Probably never happened again. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh. That's crazy, bro. Mm -hmm. Skill and concentration. So what's the path now? I mean Just live life, man. Get the world healthy. I like that. Sell a CBD. <laughs> Ty, win a win a win a basketball three and three championship. Facts. The Julius Irvin Award. All right. Hard. What's that? What's that? The the trophy. Oh, like for the, the NBA has the Larry O'Brien Trophy. Yeah, they have the big going. That's big what Ice Cube's is. Yeah. Oh, really? That's, that's fat. That's dope, oh, right? Shit. Could you explain now the season? Like how many games you guys have? And well, well it's from the first game is on June twenty second. It's in Atlanta. Type. Go to Cheetahs. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, and then the the sites vary, and it goes from September first. I know, you, I know you were. I saw some articles discussing like how do you deal, and I think this is a question for you too, Mike. Like, yep. How do you deal with 
like living in the world with addictions like do you have to avoid everything completely like i know mike like, well you- i mean it's, it's you know there's some things that you know that are, yeah yeah do you go do you go I love, out i love, do you go I love, out I love marijuana all? i smoke you smoke hella weed and that helps you <laughs> Yeah. yeah. I could tell you're baked right now, bro. Good. Are you high as fuck right He's now, high Lamar? High fuck, <laughs> <laughs> well, you think I would come do a podcast and be high? Yeah, true. You got to spice I'm it up. I'm a fucking professional, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I have my own CBD. Come on, man. You know what you're doing. Yeah, but can you can you like go out, like be around people that yeah, potentially yeah, I, could yeah, be? Yeah, and I don't have, I'm still, the, the urge for, uh, you know, crack, cocaine, that shit, I don't even get to that. Yo, get that. I don't even get that anymore. It's so funny you say that because it's out of my system. I and like, I don't like to- I don't like. I probably I get a little offended if you know my story and you come around with some coke. I would, I would expect that. Yeah, I don't. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. And then yeah. we could do it later. But now nah, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, I'm fine. Hey, you're a jokes guy. Nah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to big take you jokes. I'm, I'm trying to get a reality show, bro. Yo, you should. For real. You should. Or a fuck a reality show. Do the shit yourself. Do like hire a videographer and an editor, and yeah, dude. And, and do do online shit. Online digital content. Like digital content. Yeah, that's, you, the, that's the move now. Go on YouTube. Bro, you'd be pfft. like Will Smith doing it. You follow him at all? No. You should. You should watch what he's doing. He he went from traditional and he's uh, adopting digital and he's he's taking over because he's he's Will Smith and he knows okay, what he's so doing. Okay, so how does he get paid for that? If, if not if he's advertising, just, advertising. Yeah, yeah. There's so much. Much. but he's like an actor. It's probably easy to him, for him. Even though I did reality TV nah, before, but nah, you, nah. It's uh, <clears throat> there's 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 like three main ways that are coming to mind right now. Mm-hmm. One is the actual revenue revenue you make on the video itself. So like. YouTube will post ads on your video similar to the way you're like you're driving down the street, you see a billboard yeah. that like that billboard paid to be there. The yeah. ads will pay to be featured on your video. Right. Um, so that's AdSense. Number two is uh, brand endorsements, deals. brand deals. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so you, I mean, you have you have a brand, but say like say Maverick by Logan Paul reaches out and we want to sponsor you yeah. to wear our merch. And then three would be a- any sort of product which you have right there in your hand. So. Mm-hmm. There's so many ways to do it, man. If you have an audience, you can monetize because they're they're loyal. They're lo- y- y'all listening? <laughs> Take oh, oh, hey, get all this in. Oh. Hey, <laughs> there we go. I mean, he he's the ah. That's yeah. just this is what's ah. Happening. Now I see where it's all. He's the he's the mastermind. Say Yes. What's up, dude? What's good? <laughs> yeah, he's he's the he's he's the mega mind. He's the bro. man. Oh, okay. like, that's the puppeteer. But yeah, yeah. but to his point, if you could get a an audience together that's watching your shit, you can monetize that CBD like hella easy, yeah. so much easier. Yeah. You said you want to start a podcast. Yeah, I and did. What'd you ask me before the show started? You remember? Oh, what's the key to a successful podcast? Oh, Gotta pick your brain oh, a little bit. Why are you asking us? We have no, <laughs> we have no I mean, idea. We came dude. on saying we got the number one podcast. Oh, that was by in the accident. World. We didn't do any. We didn't do shit, bro. That's I, I by said accident. That. I said that. I did. Well, that's well, yeah, because we it's that. a fact. Because it's true. Yeah. It's in the world. True. In the universe. In the world. So Argentina, nobody. Oh, everywhere. Yeah. Australia is no, not a big no, podcast. No competition. China. Bro. We get it translated. There's three people that know every language and they translate our voices. Yeah. So <laughs> Complete like, ownership. If I say like, "Hello, how are you?" Like, there's a French guy who goes, "Bonjour, ça va." <laughs> video. Yeah. Uh, but um, Matt, you you just gotta. I, I honestly think you gotta find a lane. Like our lane is exactly what this sign behind me reads. It's impulsive. We're edgy. We yeah. t- we have three very different personalities. Yeah. Like I'm sort of the glue. He's the the conscious, mindful vegan, mm-hmm. and he's the comedic sweaty guy. Okay. Comedic yeah. sweaty guy. What's going on? I'm not. I'm sick. You know, I'm sick. Bro? Yeah, I'm sick. I went to Vegas last week and just sick like uh, sick or sick like dope sick. No, the first one. <laughs> I'm fucked up, bro. Well, actually, both. You know, oh, to be honest with you. Sick. <laughs> hey, well, yeah, we got a good recipe. We yeah. got a good recipe he, here. He also, you also asked me uh, how to make money from podcasts. Uh, oh, hey, what's up? You getting all this? No, this one I don't know. Hey, what's uh, up? We're still working on that. We're working on it. Hey, if, if y'all want to get sponsored. Or if any sponsors want to sponsor us, please. Hit us up. <laughs> please, please, for we the said, love of God. Se- se- yeah. 70 episodes, we have yet to have one sponsor. Oh, we did have one. We, d- we do have one right now. It's kind of like a recurring uh, sponsor. Is it, it those... Uh, who, who, Ma- Maverick Ma- Manrich? Ma- Maverick? Maverick, it's called. Maverick? Maverick by Logan Paul. Oh, they're good to us, dude. Yeah. They pay Maverick for all Maverick by Logan Paul. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're our only sponsor, dude. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> they're good, though. Check their stuff out. LoganPaul.com slash shop. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, I know you said you had some uh, <clears throat> some memory problems after all the stuff went down. Yeah, that's still happening. Yeah, my short term memory sucks. Really? Yeah, 
Like, is like it, how short? Yeah, how short? How short are we talking? Like, are you going to remember that you're on the number one podcast in the world? When you, <laughs> when you Do you know where you are right now? <laughs> like, really short. Like, I'm always like checking for my wallet, for my phone. Really? Yeah. Dude, there's like, got to be. Really remember. There's got to be some anything. sort of. Like brain exercise. Brain exercise like, like can't you do Sudoku? What's that? Crossword, crossword puzzles crossword and shit. Puzzle where you put the numbers in the in the grid. I don't know. I mean, I could do. It. I would do anything. I did Sudoku for a while, and then like every time I'd go to sleep, I would just be like, <laughs> like seeing numbers, bro. And I was like, I gotta stop. This is yeah. way too much. It's bad. <laughs> yeah. Man, I mean, I'm no expert, but I'm. There's probably some sort of like legit brain ex. It's a muscle. Yeah. It's probably a brain exercise. You can. Is it getting? Better, would you say? Or no, if if if, I, if there's a, like a candidate for like Alzheimer's, I would be like the number one. Really? Yeah, like the poster boy. You think you have Alzheimer's? No, I'm not saying I think I have Alzheimer's, but I was saying if there was like a poster boy, for just for like there were like symptoms. Some, have you considered going vegan? Or have you looked into it? Oh no. God, here we go. No, not, not eat meat, pause, no more. Animal. <laughs> no. no animal byproducts. How's that sound yeah. to you? What? Not eating meat. But just eating just fucking plants all the time. I mean, I, my grandmother's from the South, man. Like, I, I couldn't imagine not having at least chicken. Imagine having country fried broccoli <laughs> <laughs> instead, instead of steak. Uh, <laughs> have you ever had vegan chicken? No. See, we got to get him on that. I always have this, bro. Why is it? How good is it? <laughs> it's not chicken. Plant, yeah, but here's like, the thing. Like, plant-based... It, is possible what? patty burgers went public today. Yeah. How much? 1. No, 163. 1.6 billion. Yeah. Jumped 160%. Who? The IPO for $3. Who? Billion yeah. Market for Beyond Meat. <laughs> Who do you say? They went public? Possible yeah. Burgers. So it's 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 a patty that a is not meat. $3.2 billion. $3.2 billion. Selling vegan, selling vegan patties. Do you think how long is he going to talk for? Yeah, he, 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 we, <laughs> <laughs> yeah but. But he's, and sprouts. so you're saying we should all go vegan? Yeah, but Lamar's yes. gonna do that with the That's CBD. The but you know what though? To get to 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 get healthy and and, and preserve my life for a little yeah. bit, that'd be the move. I do. I think I owe it to my, my kids. There's there's like so much life you can add on onto your life mm. if you are eating living foods. Like, do you know Dr. Sebi? Have you? Are you? Yeah, I heard about that dude. So he's huge. Like uh, Nipsey was producing a documentary, and now Nick Cannon's producing it, yeah. and um, Dr. Sebi. Claim that he cured AIDS yeah, and like Alzheimer's. Yeah. He actually had Alzheimer's, which I didn't know until I really started diving into this after I, you know, Nipsey brought yeah. his name to light. Um, Dr. Sebi actually had uh, Alzheimer's and dementia, and he was able to cure it through an alkaline diet and through cell food, uh, through like, you know, cell cleanses, cellular cleanses. You gonna, so, you gonna do it, Lamar? It's huge. What they're serving the impossible. You want to do burger. it right though, like the impossible yeah. burger. Like that's the commercialized one. Videos to watch too. Yeah, you sent me videos. Paulo's got it. Got the vibes, supposedly. I tell you what. What if I watch them after the podcast? <laughs> All right. Supposedly they just <laughs> added like, the uh, impossible burger at Cheetahs in Atlanta. It's yeah. a new menu item. Yeah. I need, I need, Are you actually? I, need, no, I just looked it up. It's, a, it, nope. it's yes, it is for forty six dollars. You get a lap dance from uh, one of the girls, <laughs> either Samara or. Uh, <laughs> And you also get an impossible burger <laughs> <It's actually laughs> on a vegan that's a, bun. That's a great deal. <laughs> 46 bucks, bro. Beat that shit. I think like <laughs> veganism is something that's becoming very serious because of its ability to reverse things. Like he would he claimed he could cure AIDS. Like that's it. Think about that. Like AIDS and, and cancer. Chance. And they put him on trial. And he for what? he for, for, curing for AIDS? claiming that you can cure AIDS, like what's the, what's the, he put it what's on the, paper because he's not a do, he he's yeah, not but, a traditional doctor. Okay, he's from Honduras. I'm on what's the charge? No, that I mean fraud. second degree AIDS curing. <laughs> I think. Yeah, false false claims and like. And we gotta get P. On Yo, P, why don't you come <laughs> over here, bro? I feel I feel like shit today. Come take my spot, P. Yeah, so he had he had seventy brother in the Boston hospital, and he did, and then he went in front of the federal court. And yeah, did that too, the same way. I mean, I, I, could, I, could, I could probably wow. say this stuff. Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe you. Say so that. he had uh, <laughs> <laughs> he he got a you know the, the government was coming after him for putting these ads in the newspaper. So um, he he went in and and they said, hey, you need to bring in people to you know prove that yeah. you did this. So what happened is is 
these people, he didn't claim that they were cured. Like he didn't write them off because he wasn't a traditional doctor. So what happened is, is these patients that their doctor said like, yo, you have AIDS, you have, you know, these things, yeah. cancer, whatever it was. They would go to Dr. Sebi, do his cell cleanses, go alkaline vegan, and then they'd go back to their doctor and they would be like, it's gone. Like you don't have it. So it they, would, they would write off that it's gone. So when he went into court, <coughs> he had hundreds of doctors approved these people were cured. Wow. wow. Which so is crazy. So it's like if 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 it's not for is you, he, okay. Is he alive? They had to kill him off. They did. Well, that's the that's the controversy. That's like what the documentary is gonna be about is how'd he die? He went down to Honduras and he got arrested because uh having too much money. Like there's a legal amount that you can have. And he got arrested and um his wife was or there was somebody in the prison that was talking with him and uh reporters were coming in the day before saying like he was very healthy mm -hmm. and apparently he died from issues with pneumonia while he was in prison mm -hmm. but he told a reporter and he told people really close to him in jail that they're trying to kill me while he was in prison yeah. how old is he in this photo here what you say? 83 so he lived a full life yeah so but and you young. said he was able to reverse every like even like reverse adults it back to babies too. <laughs> no. Like no. What about he time? Got, he could give you the Benjamin Button effect. Yeah. Yeah. Supposedly Pretty he much. was. I guess like he was being sued because one of the people he started having to eat vegan yeah, food they, they turned, turned into a, back into a, back a baby, baby and they had like a corporate job. <laughs> <laughs> they had a corporate job and so they went to Wall Street with a rattler, <laughs> like and, you know, and, a little rattle. They had a bib on too. And they had a bib on. And, and the Dow Jones was like, "Yo, this shit's fucked, bro. Get that baby out of here. Get that baby. The baby wouldn't even wave back and shit, bro. It was horrible. Yeah, baby." Way I'm back. Glad you guys could have fun with that one. <laughs> and just, that's nonetheless, good. it was a great fucking story. Like, I don't know what you want to say. R.I.P. Dr. Sebi. Thank you for making fucking adults babies, dude. And curing people of AIDS. I know. I'm just kidding. I mean, I, that's listen, a serious thing. I, had to I understand. I like guap. Well, yeah. think about it, dude. To Spencer's point, all jokes aside, I agree with some of that shit. Like. The biggest, one of the biggest money makers for the government is pharma. Yeah. So they just want to keep pumping people filled with, full of pills, mm -hmm. whether it be AIDS pills, cancer pills, yeah. you know, whatever. Of course. So if somebody finds a cure for that, blah, 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 blah. supposedly 6 9 was working on some shit to cure arthritis. You're lying. No, and that's why they jailed hey. them, bro. <laughs> Six nine with you. He had a whole shit planned out, dude, for rheumatoid arthritis. <laughs> and had a regiment built out. Hey, so for real though. But you know what though? If do do y'all know like does Doctor Sebi have like a cookbook? He has Instagram. Or how could you get? Um, yeah, we can hook you up. That his diet. Can, I can I can hook you up. Could you? Yeah, me and Pete can hook you up. If you could get his diet regimen, I would I would I would. Put it in um you, you have in to, the play. You're gonna have to eat a lot, dude. I mean, you probably already do, but like vegan food. You I have really have a I have a small stomach for really. A, yeah, for a big dude. Yeah, you'll be how, good. Hey, how much do you weigh now? Like two forty five. Online it said two twenty. Nah. Did you ever weigh that? That was your playing weight, right? Yeah, that was like my rookie year. I was like oh, for real twenty years old. I seen that's twenty years ago. What if you were that weight right now? How much would that help you going back into? Or two the league. No, two the NBA or this league I'm about to play. In. This but league. That's no, this that's way too light for this league. This that's league too light. is really physical. Oh, it's aggressive? Wait, yeah. what? The three on three? Yeah. You follow people and shit on purpose, like punch people in the face and shit. Every, every play. <laughs> Street rules. <laughs> spit in their face and everything. Not Wait, does kicking spit? minute balls and everything. Is, is this like you NBA people blitz? in the balls? <laughs> <laughs> is it like NBA? He's blitz? heating up. <laughs> <laughs> you start doing front flips from half court. Wait, does Cube play? It's like, it's like arch rivals. Remember the big oh video game Arch Rivals? Oh, damn. Yo, yep. does Cube does Cube play in it? <laughs> he don't, does he? Nah, he don't play in it. I I also read somewhere that you said you're having trouble uh, getting back into dribbling and ball handling skills. Yeah, I think God, like, um, I think He gave me back um, life, but then He like took something that came natural for me as far as like uh, a penalty. My athlete, yeah. So, yeah, so, so, so where are you at with it now? I'm gonna go back down to Atlanta and just work my ass off. And, really? Yeah, and get ready to bust their ass. How long are you gonna be in the gym, like per day? At least two hours. Just Maybe even twice a day. Dribbling, yeah. You're dribbling and shooting. That's crazy. It's almost like you're just wearing, dedication wearing how to, myself. How to, how to walk again? Yeah. What's you, your, go ahead. How did, 
I'm no, saying, saying, it's so, saying, okay. well, I was saying, what, what's your, uh, <laughs> what's your biggest regret? I saw, I, cause I read something and it, it rung true to me in a big way from the drugs. Your biggest regret was, um, not, it was all the time you missed with yeah, loved with my, ones. Yeah, with my kids, man. Yeah. yeah money, I, drugs cost money too. Yeah. That's a fact. Yeah. Cause I, I, I've been writing about my shit and my biggest regret is not seeing my sister graduate, not seeing like. Which one? My younger sister. The one that I met? Yeah. You're an asshole. She's a sweetheart. I know, but all that shit, like my mom's birth, like 50. When, like, when you, when you, when you, you know, an addict, you can't really make, um, rational, you're not going to really make rational decisions. Yeah. You know if only I mean? we could eat vegan food. Reverse time, like wait, we is that about. possible or not? And, Can I go back? And go back and watch his sister graduate. You know well, if you want to like, add years um, onto your life, no, 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 no. What I'm thing. saying is, if I'm, do I go back to a baby now? Like, do I turn into a baby mm -hmm. on the podcast set, or do I go back to when I was a oh, baby? Oh, oh, like so, I start eating all plants, right? Tomorrow, I wake up. Am I a baby with you're a four hundred one k here? Yeah, or do I go back to when I was born? No, you're a baby. Tomorrow. Okay. Oh, right, that's I, I don't even know if oh, I want to. I want to be a bro. baby though with like a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> with a kickstand? <laughs> yeah. You got the kickstand? Yeah. yeah. Oh, with a oh a big old dick. Yeah. Oh, so I know that's what I I'm thought like, you meant a real hammer, like, bro. No, so if like, I'm yo, like, yo, I'm a baby with a hammer. Yo, I know you, when I'm a, when I grow I, up. I know what your movie should I'm be. I'm gonna be like Mandingo. Mandingo baby? Join the club. Mandingo's Dick was that big when he was a baby. I, <laughs> Yo, what if I told you Mandingo did a backflip and landed? That wasn't him. With his that wasn't dick him in one of our past guests. That was not. <laughs> Yo, what if I said that that someone sat in that seat, got a backflip to Mandingo dick down? Bro. <laughs> that wasn't Mandingo, was it? I thought it was, bro. It, it was the most incredible thing. We got see though. the fi up top, Lamar, the fifth person in from the left. No, sorry, six. That's there's Austin an, McBroom. There's Austin McBroom did not get a Mandingo <laughs> dick. I'm sorry. The sixth person, the girl, with her pants down in the picture. Bro, there's a name for the move. I swear to God, it's, it's, called? Like, it's called like the, oh, koala, the koala roll. That was no, a porn stone? No, I remember what That's a porn stone? I don't know if you're allowed to say it. No, we definitely can't fucking say <laughs> That was a porn stone? Yeah. yeah. We got, we got a Riley, Riley Reed. Reed, number one in the world. Whoa. She deep throated that mic. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, Lamar. She had that thing in her entire esophagus. I'm bro. in the rally where you don't. She's into you, trust me, because she's into everyone. <laughs> she's in straight up. Oh, no, bro. everyone's into her. So that, that too, bro. Uh -huh. That too. Oh, I can make that intro for you tonight. It's gonna happen as soon as we walk off this set, dude. She's gonna wanna put you on her premium Snapchat. <laughs> yo, yo. So wait, I wanna go back. Well, so I'll eat that box too now. <laughs> no, no, you she, won't. The, the problem is, bro, she would nah, want man. you to. She she talks hella shit about guys that don't slope. eat it. She says, ah, oh, he's a bitch. You don't, you know, he might put blah, blah, blah. She'll put she'll call y'all on Snapchat if you don't. Or on uh, Twitter. Mm. Yeah, you gotta so be you careful. have to. If you're trying to rebuild that career. You There's more porn stars on there too, bro. Back at end. Look it. down one more row. I guess Fair Abraham, kind of a porn star. Right? Pretty much. <laughs> Did we, I, I'm going to be honest. That was a great laugh, Mike. Thank you. That was, that was great. It was one of those. I really enjoyed myself right there. It was, dude was tall, bro. Yeah. Can, like, Yo, when, you, so, when you stood up, I was like, right, so damn. Man, okay. Yeah, y'all right, walked in when he was already back, sitting down. Back, yeah. on, question. I see where this is going. You're, you're going toward my territory now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Oh, no. Don't run. What would you guys tell your young selves? I am young. What? <laughs> that's that's a good piece of advice. What you got? Which one of y'all fuck Riley Reed? <laughs> <laughs> oh, all, all three. All, no, no, no. All three of y'all fuck Yo, I, I'm so, yo, at I'm the same so, time, I'm so sorry. I'm so boys. sorry. I'm putting this shit to all rest, All y'all fuck Riley Reed at nah, the same time. Spe Spencer did. <laughs> Dirty yeah, little boy. I didn't boys. say that. I didn't say that. I want to put this shit to rest, bro. Who came first? <laughs> 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 hey, yo, can oh, we can no. we finish what we were on? Because I think we were on something important, more important than Riley Reed. Not many things are, but one of them is you <laughs> being a baby with a full size cock. I got. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I got it. I got to go back to this. No, I'm gonna tell you why that was so funny. Listen, right? no. Because <laughs> good jokes or great jokes, timing is very interesting, bro. Bro, bro, that listen, was like great listen, timing. Because I just imagine. Because you talked earlier about it. <laughs> you, talk, yeah. yes. you talked earlier about wanting to make a movie about yourself right yeah 
and I know what movie it is now, bro. It's it's Big Cock Baby. It's, yes, bro. <laughs> it's a movie oh, about bro. Lamar Odom. He's got health problems. He starts eating vegan food according to Doctor Sebi's diet. He turns into a baby and he's got a big ass <laughs> big old yeah. cock, girl. Yeah. And then he goes to like ATL, <laughs> and there's like some sort of problem at the strip club, and he has to be a superhero, but he uses his dick as his like his, <laughs> his yeah. weapon of choice. He just swings and knocks me yeah. out, bro. I was a baby, dude. We can call it the kickstand. That's got to be a comic book. <laughs> Maybe it is. Maybe it starts. You know, <laughs> a lot stand. of things start as comic books. And they, they turn up to movies. a cartoon, right? That's it, bro. That's right. You think Marvel's big? <laughs> big ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I wish I could <laughs> set that laugh as my ringtone. <laughs> Facts. No, you know whose laugh that's like? Who's the other dude that's got the funny laugh? You ever seen him before? Oh. Pull, pull him did, up. I don't know his name. I'm going I'm to find you, him. You laugh like that guy. He does. Wait, hey, hey, this is all good fun. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're no, finally listen. starting to go crazy here, bro. I know. That's why I want to go to the audio only. I want to keep this up. I want to make this exclusive <laughs> shit, bro. True. I'm going to do it, bro. Spotify and iTunes. We're going to keep this going. Energy's good. Yo, Lamar. Hold bro. on one sec. Thank you for coming on this podcast, bro. No, no, no. no, no. Sorry, sorry. I got the laugh. You just ruined it, bro. Let's all, all pause and wait for Mike. Oh, I got it. Well, what do you got, Mike? Gosh, dang it. I actually want to sit in the silence right now. <laughs> yeah, okay. And just ruminate in Mike's mistake. Let's see how much this was worth it. Yeah. I don't even know where you're sitting at. <laughs> Come on, let me know. It wasn't was like that. that. It, was it wasn't like that, though. All right, all right, all right. That was crazy. Hey, where can they find you on social media? What's your What's your handle? Oh, my Instagram is Lamar Odom. Lamar oh, that makes sense. Odom. What is it again? Yeah, I think Lamar, you said your last name wrong. Lamar Odom. Okay, cool. You said it right. All right, there you go. Uh, is it the real Lamar Odom or Lamar? Nah, Odom? I'm, I'm looking right now. Bro. Your Twitter is real Lamar Odom. What's your socials? My, my Instagram is Lamar. Odom. <laughs> yeah, and his Instagram is Lamar Odom. Yo, thank you for coming on, bro. This no, no, was fun, you, for real, bro. Yeah. I want to continue this. Spotify, iTunes, right now. Audio only, exclusive Q and A with Lamar Odom. Thank you. Subscribe to Impulse, the number one podcast in the world. We'll see you next time. Take it easy, man. Peace. <laughs> hey, what's the most ratchet shit you've seen with groupies? I'm sure. I'm sure it gets. Why?